I started playing for the school in seventh grade, and in sixth grade I was too young, so I just practiced with the team, and I played in like citywide teams. I always liked basketball because I was taller than most students, like since growing up, so I always knew I wanted to play. I play volleyball, I run track, and I play softball. I never dribbled a lot. I never could dribble. I always played down. And this season, the guards had graduated last year, so I had to work all over the summer on my dribbling skills. And that was like very hard. She's one of our captains, uh, probably my main captain. She's our only senior. And I think there's like an unspoken, um, what's the word I'm looking for? Uh, a confidence where they believe in her uh, and there's a respect. She's been playing varsity basketball since she was in the seventh grade. So I think there's a lot of respect there that she's been here a long time. She knows what she's doing. She knows what's going on. And, and I don't really have to say a whole lot. Uh, usually she, I just kind of give her a look and tell her what I need to be done, and it's going to get done. We all grew up together. We all stay in the same neighborhood, all on the same street. So we all grew up together. So we all know each other. We had two new players transfer from like, out of town. So it was like kind of hard to get used to them because we was used to playing with everybody else because we played together before. But at, like after a few games and practices, we got used to it and now we play together better as a team. I made a third team all county, like for the whole Polk County, and I was under honorable mention for like two years in a row. Um, I'm graduating in the top 10 of my class, so that's, I'm really proud of that. I want to earn a bachelor's in physical therapy. I kind of want to go to FIU because it's close to home. I want to go close, because it's close. I've had people that have scored more points, um, but as far as playing, her flexibility to play inside and outside this year is that's the one thing. Last year she played strictly down low towards the basket, close to the basket. She shot the ball real well, averaged around 13 to 14 points a game and was getting 10 to 12 rebounds a game. This year we've asked her to move out and play a lot more away from the basket. And the last time I checked she was scoring 18 points a game. And she was still getting 11 to 12 rebounds a game. So she's expanded her role. Uh, and overall, probably the, the best player that I've coached uh, and that's South Carolina, New York, as far as being able to do everything. I think there's a couple of sports she could play somewhere in college, and basketball being one of them. Uh, I know track is a big one. Uh, and I know her brother uh, plays at the University of Pittsburgh. So it's not out of the realm of possibility of going to play basketball or even track somewhere. I know she has the grades to do that. Um, and we're gonna help her in every way that we can to get her where she wants to go. During the game, sometimes players can call you names and like use profanity a lot. And don't let others discourage you. Just stay focused and ignore it. Don't let them get you out your game. <laughs>